time for Katie's Toolkit. How many of you out there have slathered your hair with mayonnaise in the name of beauty? Well, it, when it comes to homemade beauty fixes, the list is long, but how do you know which ones actually work? Here with the kitchen remedies that do the trick and where you can find them in the beauty aisle is Allure Magazine Editor-in-Chief and my friend Linda Wells. Hi, Linda. Hi. Nice to see you. Thanks. Thank you for coming in. So, you know, there are a lot of people who think certain things actually work, but they don't. They're, right. in essence, old right. wives' tales. So what are some of the things that we think work but don't? Well, mayonnaise is one of them. Have you ever put that in your hair and then tried to get it out? Because it no. would take you three days, about a bottle of shampoo, it's a silk cord shower situation, don't do it. Toothpaste, not in the kitchen, but people always think toothpaste on a zit is a great thing, but it actually... It isn't? No, it has whitening ingredients and breath fresheners, and those can irritate your skin, so don't do that either. So let's talk about some things that actually work. So one is coconut oil. Right, coconut oil is really trendy this right now. This is like the wonder oil, isn't People it? People love it. So coconut oil has omega fatty acids in it. It's also a moisturizer. It's a dry oil, so you can see it's solid. You put it between your hands, warm it up, and then you put the tiniest, tiniest bit on your hair because otherwise it gets really greasy. You can put it on your body, and it sort of smells great. It smells like vacation. Right. It protects your hair from salt and from chlorine and from sun, and so it's really a nice product. And there's some products that actually come with coconut exactly. oil. Exactly, and these are some examples. The Bumble and Bumble Creme de Coco Shampoo and Conditioner is great if you have dry or damaged hair, not if you have fine hair. And then this is a fun little um, lip balm called from Sun Bum. It's a surfer's line, and it has SPF 30 which is really important because so you really want to have your sun, so your lips protected in the sun. Okay, the next is yogurt. I understand that when applied correctly, it can actually be very calming to your skin. Exactly, and it's the whole milk and yogurt that really makes it. Greek yogurt now is such a huge thing. It's like the entire refrigerator section of your grocery store is filled with Greek yogurt. It has calming, in, calming um, ingredients, uh, the lactic acid, and also just it reduces redness. So historically, it's actually not an old wives' tale, but you can soak a washcloth in milk, whole milk. Put it on your skin, it reduces the sunburn, and makes you feel a lot better. You so. know, my dermatologist, I get very dry skin, and believe it or not, I get kind of like borderline eczema on my eyelids in the winter. I don't know why, but if you put half milk and half ice water with little ice, you mix it around and you put it on cotton pads and put them on your eyes or your irritated area of your skin, it really helps. It's really nice. So, Cleopatra did it. Really? Well, well, there the you go. More, right? And then there are these by products. Cleopatra. Right, exactly. Yeah, these products these have products, yogurt yeah, in it. The Dial product is a body lotion, and then this is um, a product for your face. It's from Chorus. It's actually from Greece, which gives it a little bit more authenticity. Okay, now meanwhile, toothpaste may, may not work, but you put honey on pimples for real? I know, it doesn't seem logical at all because it seems so sticky, but um, yes, it is sticky, but it is an antibacterial, a natural antibacterial. So honey has been proven by doctors and scientists to actually reduce sits. And there's a kind of honey that's even more effective, and it's called um, Manuka honey. It's from New Zealand. Um, it's a, You could buy Manuka honey in a health food store on Amazon or wherever, but you put that on and it really is strong and great on zits. And all then right. it's also moisturizing. All so right. this is know. a mask from Fresh, and we have a body Body lotion from Le Couvon de Minime, just to make it really complicated, uh -huh, I have to say uh -huh, that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then this is a uh, Manuka honey uh, body moisturizer. Okay, and finally, Linda, I know you say that instead of cucumber slices, right, you always see those on people's eyes and uh, uh, at, at spas, you can actually use green tea. Exactly. You can actually, it's really any tea with caffeine reduces swelling and calms the skin. So you can take a tea bag, it doesn't have to be green, but it, you can use green since it's so trendy. Um, steep it, then put it in the refrigerator, then put it on your eyes and it reduces puffiness. Green tea is also really effective in skin carrying products for, as an antioxidant, which means that it protects the cells against damage from the sun and makes your wrinkles less likely to show up. All right, green tea is really hot too. It's the green hot tea, coconut oil, you're good to go and throw in a little honey and yogurt and there you have it. You'll be beautiful. <laughs> Linda, yeah, thank you so much for coming <laughs> by. Good you. to see you.